Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop based pest classification and I am going to cover the topic pest of teas. So while seeing about the pest of teas, these are the insect which was present in teas and I have also given their scientific name as well as their family name in this slide. So please see about the, the scientific names as well as the uh, family name of the insects present in tea. So let's see about the important pests which were present in the tea. So the first two important pest in tea is tea mosquito bug, where the scientific name is Helioptilis thevora. So it is said to be considered as a serious pest of tea and also said to be most dangerous in shaded areas. And while seeing about the symptom of damage, adult uh, they use it to show the leaf curling symptom. And also in several cases they use it to show a deformed stages of plant and also a shoots dry up and also uh, so while well, even thinking about that so we can able to assess the damage uh, the both nymph and adult use it to suck the sap from uh, the whole tea plant and uh, it used it to appear as a reddish brown spot where the puncture used to be occurred and so the identification of pest is uh, where the adult which is said to be black color with a red thorax as well as with a black and a whitish abdomen and a green <coughs> greenish brown wings are said to be present and so the management is spraying of uh, posporyl monocrotopus 2 ml per liter of water for the better control of the tea mosquito bug and so the next one is looper caterpillar where the scientific name is biston suppressoria and so the symptom of damage is where the young caterpillars use it to feed on the land, tender leaves and mature larva which use it to prefer the older leaves so the grown up larva can able to eat an entire leaf per day and in several infestation the tea bushes are completely denuded in the field so it is the picture of the looper and so while seeing about the characteristics of larva so which is said to be grey or dark green in color and the adult which is said to be a straw colored moth and wings grey with light brown markings and so while seeing about the symptom of damage the major symptom is defoliation of the leaves by the larva and so the identification of pest uh, where the effective management against these um, larva is said to be the spraying of neem seed kernel extract 5% or neem based oil formulation at 3 percentage per liter uh, in the field area is said to be an effective measure for controlling the semilupus and also spraying uh, any one of the insecticides like pospinol, chloripyrpos uh, or molothion in the field level at the recommended dose is said to be uh, an effective against the looper and the effective dose is 2 ml per liter of water and so the next one is lobster caterpillar where the scientific name is neutosteropus alternarius and so the symptom of damage where the two or three caterpillar able to eat the whole plant uh, from small plant to two or three days so it is said to be one of the dangerous pest in the tea crop and also the identification of pest um, while seeing about its egg characteristics it is said to be a yeah, white and fine sculpture and so the larva which is said to be black color resembles dry leaf area so you can able to see the larva in the picture so it when it sticks on to the branches uh, we can't be able to identify in a normal way and so the adult which is said to be a grayish white winged moth and also there is a reddish spot on the four wings and so the management is hat collection and destruction of the larva as well as the eggs whenever we can able to see and so i'll see in the several infestation spraying of like, some chemical insecticides like pospolin chloropyrifos or molothion at the recommended dosage of 2 ml per liter is an effective way for controlling lobster caterpillar in the field level and so the next one is flush form where the scientific name is cydia leucostoma and so the symptom of damage where the caterpillar used it to tie up the margin of tender leaves and also for use it to form a case enclosed with the bud so where the larva used it to remains inside them and uh, uh, grow into an adult one so the identification is said to be x or said to be pale yellow or in color and also laid in the uh, singly on the mature leaves and so the larva is said to be brown in color adult it is said to be a very small moth with a blackish brown in color and so the management is chloropyrpos or phenithron 2 ml per uh, liter and so the next one is t tortix and the scientific name is homona coffee area 
and so the symptom of damage where the caterpillars make leaf nest um, by webbing the silk and threads around the young leaves and the larva which is said to be get inside the leaf nest and feed inside the nest and the young larva prefers tender leaves and the old one used to be seen in the mature leaves and so the ma effective management is spraying of chloripyd pods or phenytrothion at the recommended dosage of 2 ml per liter is the effective one and so the identifications i have given the picture of those moths and so the next one is bunch caterpillar so it used to get the name of bunch caterpillar by having the larva uh, in the bunches of tea plantation and so while seeing about the um, characteristic nature of egg larva and adult so the egg is said to be laid up to 500 eggs on the underside face of the leaf and so the larva which used to be a smooth hairless larva with a grayish color with the brown patches on its leaf and it is said to be, uh, even in the first instar they used to first eat up their egg shell own egg shell and later starts feeding on the leaves and uh, it is said to be found in bunches so it used to get the name of bunch caterpillar and adult is said to be a golden brown moth and so the symptom is defoliation by the larva during daytime and also they used to congregate uh, on the um, branches of plant in a bunches so it is the picture of bunch uh, caterpillar and so the next picture is a leaf roller where the scientific name is caroptila tivora and so the while you are seeing about their characteristics so the larva which is said to be yellowish in color and the adult which is said to be golden uh, in incurvated patches on four wings and abdomen in color so you can able to see that in the picture and so the symptom of these uh, leaf roller or the second instar used to mine in the tender leaves and uh, also in the leaf margins and in the fourth instar they used to roll up the leaves towards uh, from tip to downwards and they used to hatch inside the leaf roll and so the next one is cutworm uh, where it is also one of the important pests where the scientific name is agrotis sectum and so the larva which is said to be a black colored larva with a brown head and uh, which used to have a triangular spots at spiracular region and so Uh, the adult which is used to give a four wing gray with pink and spot like markings and a hind wing dull white and so the symptom is cut the seedlings at the collar region so the plant able to can grow to another extent and so the management uh, common management for the leaf feeders or so the applying spore suspensions uh, chemicals when there is a high in humidity and also spraying of neem formulations at the ratio of 0.03 to 0.15 percent at 1000 ml per hectare or 1 percent at 200 to 500 no, 400 ml per hectare or at 5 percentage at 100 to 200 ml per hectare based on the incidence happen in the field level Uh, with the particular insecticide sites like chloripyrpos or quinal pos with the recommend the recommend uh, recommendations given for those particular pest and so the next one is tea red borer where the scientific name is zoodia ziara coffee and so it is said to be a minor pest uh, which is said to be found in, also in arabica and robust coffee and uh, it used to have a wide host range with a, where some of the host of tea red borer or tea coffee cinnamon sandal cotton orange as well as in tea and while seeing about uh, its name the tea red borer which used to get its name with the uh, larva uh, significance so the larva used to be with orange red and smooth silk in color and so the adult which is said to be a uh, dirty white bands and black or steel blue spots on the wings and so the symptom of damage is larva constricted tunnel into young plants which can be extend up to roots and uh, they also used to form a wilting of branches in several infestations so where they used to bore holes and uh, we can able to see their excreta at the base of the plant where they used to make their holes and so the management is cut and burn the affected plants and uh, uh, field release of new cardini fungus uh, which is said to be and also a yeah, braconid parasitoids in the field level is good for the control of these t red larva borers and so the next one is short hole borer where the scientific name is eulacia fornicatus and so the symptom of damage so they used to have a presence of round short holes in the primary branches 
and these attacks result in the mortality of buds and also use it to cause a dieback symptom in branches and they also use it to give the presence of circular or longitudinal tunnels inside the stem and uh, they use it to make a uh, entrance even inside the strong stems and also the identification of pest is the male which is to be small black color with uh, long beetles and also the male is said to be half the size of female devoid of their short wings only the female use it to have uh, wings and so the management is removal and destruction of the affected twigs and also the spraying of some chemicals like lindin 20 ec 2 ml per liter using hand sprayer immediately after pruning is an effective method against short hole borers and so some other pest of present in tea and mites on the red spider mite scarlet mite purple mite pink mite as well as yellow mite i have given the respective scientific names and so we can able to see about the red spider mite now so which you use it to get its name with the semblance of a red color and also the symptom of damage infests the upper surface of the mature leaves and so the infestation starts along with the mid ribs and uh, veins and to spread to the entire upper surface of the leaves and so the affected leaves which you used to give a bronze dry and a crampled uh, convenience to the leaves and so the identification of this eggs which are to be reddish in color and the adult which is said to be where the female is said to be elliptical in shape and um, with crimson and lead reddish color with the dark purplish brown posteriorly and so the next one is scarlet mite where they use it to congregate under the surface of the mature leaves and so the scarlet mite use it to feed and causes a brown discolorations of the leaves and so the identification of piss the eggs are said to be red color and elliptical in shape and adults are said to be scarlet red in color and ovate in shape and so the next is purple mite so which is said to be a major pest in south india for tea crops and so the symptom of damage is so the where the mites use it to feed on the under surface of the mature leaves and the assam tea type of tea are said to be most susceptible to purple mite and also damaged leaves use it to have a coppery bound discoloration and um, while seeing about the identification of pest the adult is said to be very small spindle shaped and uh, dark purple in color so where it used to get the name of purple mite and they use it to have a five longitudinal white waxy ridges on the dorsal side and so the next one is pink mite or orange mite where the scientific name is acaphyla thea it is said to be an important mite in india so it is said to be um, one of the important pest in tea and uh, while seeing about the symptom of damage which are said to be found in the under surface of the young leaves and also the affected leaves turn pain and upward curling in several infestation leaves become leathery and a brown and um, so the damage restrict at to top at 10 to 15 centimeter of tender leaves and so the assam type of tea is said to be susceptible for these pink mite and so the identification of pest where the adult is said to be very minute orange color as well as the carrot shaped and so the next one is yellow mite so it is said to be a polyphagous pest it is not only a pest in tea but also a yeah, pest in tomato cotton pulses chilies even most of the plant and so the symptom of attack and nature of damage is so where the mite is said to be seen on the young leaves especially the top and uh, from two to three leaves and uh, to the bud they use it to have a downward curling and internode gets shortened and uh, shoots where they use it to get stunned and deformed in during the several infestation of yellow mite and so while seeing about the identification of piss so the yellow mites are said to be active and fast moving mite than any other mites and the males are said to be small and white in color and the females uh, are said to be yellowish and uh, even bigger than male ones and so the pictures of yellow mite and so the management of these mites are playing the the first one and the effective one of these mites are the chemical method controls where the spraying of dichlor was 2 ml or wet sulfur 2 gram per liter of water is an effective one and also we can able to increase the activity of predatory mites um, where the scientific name is amblyceus um, ovalis so it is said to be greater and effective against these mites and also the apply of pour a 10 percentage um, per gram at a 10 kilogram per hectare and uh, spraying a uh, one of the effective insecticides where i have placed in the next slide or else uh, we can able to apply wet tail using it uh, in the evening hours when there is where the humidity is more so it is the picture of the insecticides we can able to provide in the field level for tea at the effective recommended dosage 
and so the next one we are going to see is thrips where the scientific name is stint uh, scrito thrips um, bis pinosus and the symptom of damage where the thrips prefer um, used to affect the young leaves and buds and so the when the affected thrips which used to form an uneven and curly matte leaf surface and the identification of pest where the adults are said to be brown in color with a brown abdomen and so the management is spraying of dimethoate or chlorpyrifos at a recommended dosage um, uh, of 12 2 ml per liter and so the next one is black aphids so the black aphids uh, which is used to have a yeah, shiny appearance um, in the surface and so the symptom is yellowing and crickling uh, of tender shoots which is mainly due to the aphids which is used to suck the plant saps from the tender shoots of the tea and so the next one is aphids um so while seeing about these uh, symptom of damage they use it to colonize on the tender shoot leaves and immediately after pruning and the aphids use it to attract the ants and the honeydew secretion which also cause for the development of sooty mold syndromes in the affected plants and so the identification of pests so where they we can able to see a dark brown aphid and so the management is collect and destruction of infest infested plant pots and is spraying dimethoate 30 ec or chlorpyrifos 20 ec at the recommended dosage of 2 ml per liter and uh, spray pospolon 2 ml per liter is an effective management against aphids and so the next one is t jacid so which use it to comes under the sucking insects family of hemiptera so both the nymph and adult use it to suck the plant uh, where their appearance used to be green color and also a bit shaped one and so the symptom of damage is yellowing module browning as well as the coupling of leaves and so the management of thrips and aphids or the best management for thrips is uh, the placing of blue sticky traps for thrips which can we can able to monitor and also we can able to apply verticillia lucinia under uh, high humidity and also the spraying of insecticide like pronipyrpos or dimethoate is an effective one and the next one is for aphids we can able to apply spore suspensions like basilomyces furomyces at 1.5 kg per hectare in evening hours when there is a high, high humidity also we can able to go for insecticides like quinolpos or dimethoate and pronophos uh, at the recommended dosage for these sucking insects so i have given the lecture notes in description so comment about the video and join us in the instagram page so if you like the video like it and share it to your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos